Very cheeky indeed. That is right there, the um, <coughs> Cooper's IPA with the extra hops that I posted the video up on how to do fairly recently. And it's uh, not bad at all. Cheers. Only slight issue I had with it. Kegged it. Put it somewhere warm for two weeks and didn't ferment out. <laughs> it didn't secondary ferment. There was no pressure in the barrel whatsoever. Um, decided to inject a CO2 bulb into it and then realised that I'd not tightened the lid quite enough and therefore small amounts of gas was escaping and therefore, um, yeah, shit. All the pressure went out of the barrel, which I'm really pissed off at. It's a new barrel, I thought I'd done it up tight enough. Evidently I hadn't. Um, so I'm hoping that the beer's not going to go off as a result. I've really tightened it up, injected a bulb CO2 in there. So I'm hoping now that will push out all the air and we'll, uh, we'll be alright. Um, I suppose if not, I'll have to drink it quickly, eh? <laughs> well, a, once again, very happy Homebrew Wednesday to you all. Um, I've... Well, I'd say I'm not a huge amount to report. I've got a few bits and bobs to uh, fill you in on. I bottled the cinnamon cider at the weekend, so that is now um, currently fermenting upstairs in the airing cupboard. That, well, it's not an airing cupboard, it's a cupboard upstairs, I should say. It's not, not heated. Um, that's secondly fermenting for a couple of weeks, and then I'll bring it down here. Um, and then to chill, and then give it a go in a couple of weeks. It came out quite uh, strong. Um, eight point something, um, which wasn't quite what I uh, <laughs> anticipated. But never mind. Uh, what I want to do is eventually perfect a recipe. Uh, I'm sort of just experimenting at the moment. It's only you know four pounds worth of apple juice a time, so it's not like I'm breaking the bank with my experiments. Kind of get like a taste that I really like. Um, so I'm sure eventually then I'll get my own little recipe and maybe post it up there for you guys to take a look at. Um, so that's that. As you can see as well, I kegged that a couple of weeks ago and that's now drinkable. Um, pretty nice actually. A bit different to the last one I did because it's got um, medium spray malt instead of light spray malt. I haven't noticed a huge amount of difference with that. It's like more of a hoppy kick to it. So I had a little bit more hops in there. Um, but yeah, it was good. Good stuff. I also made a little purchase at the weekend. This is a beer kit that I have been meaning to do for ages. The Cooper's European Lager. Dun, dun, dun. So why haven't I done it before? Well, there's a very good reason for that. You have to leave it 12 weeks. Now, previously... The old place where I was living, which nearly dropped that then, I better put it down. The old place I was living at, um, I didn't have a lot of storage space. So to keep beer for 12 weeks and not drink it <laughs> was a bit of a pain in the arse, to be perfectly honest. That wasn't really going to happen. Um, now I'm here, obviously I wanted to, um, I've actually been in this house six months now, can you believe it? Um, the idea was to build up my stocks um, of beer. Now, obviously, you need. Um, I, I pretty much ran out before I moved in, so um, and I packed all my brewing equipment away so I can brew some more. So obviously, I needed some quick ones off the bat just to get my stocks up, which I've now done. I've actually got quite quite a lot of beer at the moment. Although I went to mate's barbecue at the weekend. It was Easter, and um, I did deplete the stocks rather a lot. Actually, I'll show you what I've got left. <laughs> I've got. This is all just wine and stuff here. Got some beers there. Quite a few gaps. A few gaps appearing in that shelf. Got some beers down here though, which is handy. These are the ones I need to review in this little box. And this is quite upsetting. There's only one, two, three, five beers left in my lovely crate. I need to wash these bottles out as well. Oh, well, of course, I've still got this lovely cake, nice and full of beer. And I've got the Cooper's Real Ale upstairs fermenting. So um, that's going to 
be finished soon as well and I'll be kegging that so that should be ready to drink in about three weeks as well. So it's alright, I'm getting there. Um, I might fire off a couple of uh, Coopers Australian lagers as well. Just to build my rolling stock up a bit more with something that I like and I know I like. Although the problem is, I really want to try out different beer kits so I'm loathed, to be honest, to um, you know just do the same ones all the time. I really feel I need a bit of variety. So, we'll see. Anywho, I digress slightly. Coopers European Lager. Now the reason you need to leave it 12, um, 12 weeks is because it uses a proper lager yeast. Pretty much all the other lager kits that you buy, um, Australian Lager, Mexican Lager, the Coopers Heritage Lager, um, Edme Lager, um, Simply, Simply Beer Lager kits, all the other ones I've done so far have used ale yeast. Now, the main difference from what I understand from lager yeast is it's bottom fermenting, so it ferments from the bottom rather than from the top, and therefore it needs more time to clear down and for the beer to settle. And apparently it gives it a better taste as well, so I'm really intrigued to find out what that's going to be like. The other thing with lager yeast, it ferments at a different temperature. I believe the ideal temperature is about 12 degrees as opposed to around 20 for the ale. So again, um, with the colder weather still here, probably is a good idea. It's still a bit too cold to ferment in here, I think. It's currently about 7 degrees in here. So I don't know, if you guys, put this out to you guys, it's currently 7 degrees in here. Um, if I wrap up load, like blankets and stuff around a fermenting lager in here, is it going to be able to maintain a 12? Is it okay if it goes below 12? I really don't know. I'll need to do a bit more research myself as well. Um, otherwise, I'll put it upstairs, but it might get too warm then. So, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> Should I wait until it's 12 degrees? And then I'll be fine. I really don't know. So, any suggestions, ideas, would be much appreciated. Next thing I want to discuss as well is Cornelius Kegs. Now, before I do that, I want to take another top up of beer. Not going mad tonight, I just want to have a little bit to wet me whistle while I talk to you guys. Cornelius Kegs. Well, a bit of revelation on that one with I've not actually spoken to him about this yet so um, this is directed at Daft Cat Brewing I'll put your name along there or that is as it sounds Daft Cat Brewing pretty pretty simple words this person him or her I'm going to say him because I assume it's a he I could be wrong if I am please correct me he told me um, about a website where you can get Cornelius cakes for around £50. I had a quick look at that website and I replied to his comments saying, oh, they're still like about 80 odd quid. They're not, that was my bad, I cogged up. The 80 ones, as you rightly said, are for the completely brand new cakes. I've now seen Cornelius cakes on there for around $50, which works at, um, $50, God, for about 50 odd euros, which works at around £48. So actually, pretty bloody cheap. Um, so hopefully I will be ordering them very soon. The website, if any of you guys in the UK are curious as to where to get the cheap um, kegs from, is candirect.co.uk. Again, I'll stick that there in case you can't understand what I'm saying. Now, 50 quid a keg, it's not bad. I understand, obviously, I have to get all the other components as well. So what I was thinking I'll probably do is um, get the keg first, then but it's sort of do it gradually. I know I can't use the keg until I pressurise it because it doesn't seal properly unless you, you pressurise it with the CO2. So, we'll see what happens with that. Again, again I need to get the, the big CO2 bottle and all that kind of jazz, get the connectors, get the tap. Um, I probably will eventually go down the whole uh, kegerator route as well, which sounds like fun as well. Uh, obviously, you don't drill a hole in the door, stick your, stick your tap on there and away you go. So thank you very much, Darth Cat Brewing. Cheers to you. Very happy with that. Um, you know, I paid about 40 quid for this, so it's really uh, <laughs> quite nice to uh, be able to uh, 
to get some Cornelius kegs quite cheap. Uh, the guy down my local homebrew store, he doesn't sell the Cornelius kegs anymore. He does sell a lot of the attachments and stuff. So what I'll probably do buy one off the website, go down and see him and get the bits because, like I said before, got to support your local homebrew shops, guys. Um, on the subject, my local homebrew shop, they are a superstar. Um, a few people have told me about the um, Cooper's uh, Pilsner, the Tom's Cooper's Pilsner. Um, which is a really good kit apparently and my local homebrew shop didn't have it. Um spoke to them about it and they're going to order in a batch so um, I might even be in this weekend so I'll pop up and have a look um, which will be really quite exciting because again you know it's a kit a lot of people have raved about it. It's similar to the European lager I think it uses proper lager yeast so again it's going to be one I'm off to brew for and then leave for a while but we'll see what happens. So, I do still like my lagers you know I'm into the ales these days but um, quite fond of a lager, especially in summer. It was a great in the winter, you know, porters and stouts and that, but, you know, I guess summer, it's really hot sometimes. You want something a bit lighter, a bit more chill, just to, to neck at a barbecue or whatever, so, yeah, I've got the Cooper's Mexican Cerveza to do that. We'll see how the European lager turns out as well. That's, of course, if we get a summer, because we know what happened last year, it was crap. <laughs> Other than that, that is about it from me for this week. I really need to get some more beer kit reviews like that. I'm sorry, I'm crap. No excuse, I've just not got around to doing it. So, I've got loads of beers I need to review. I've pretty got one. One, two, three. I've got about six that are ready to go that I could review right now if I wanted to. I'll probably wait till the weekend, have a few beers. I'll upload a couple of reviews as well. So, I'm, I'm going to leave you to it because I'm quite conscious I've probably rambled for long enough already. I'm tired. I want to get this video edited, uploaded, and I want to get to bed. So, happy homebrew Wednesday, everyone. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Currently sitting at 148. So not a long to get to 150 now. 200, 300, 500. Let's go for Let's go for it. Um, <laughs> and seriously, I never thought I'd get 100, let alone 148. So thank you very much to everyone. 